Since I was a very small boy, about 12 years old, I've been really obsessed by building and by construction and construction of houses and so. And uh, I think uh, as it comes to materials and to materi materiality in my work, I think this is a very important source to me. Well, I got to know Buri as I was a painter student in the 80s. and. Uh, I was pretty inspired by his uh, burlap uh, paintings, uh, collages or whatever you call it. And uh, I, I even recall, uh, as I was a, a first year student, I guess, that I also made some works with burlap. Mm -hmm. So, and also with this red background. So, uh, and now since you invited me to do this interview, I, uh, I've been thinking what, what, what triggered me to to be interested in his, in his work in this period. And um, I think it's mainly uh, because of what Emily Brown uh, said uh, about Bury, uh, that he, um, he's, he's, he, the wound is something very important for, mm -hmm. for Bury. When I look to what I'm, all, I've, I'm always been interested in is what is behind the surface. That's also why, in the end, I decided to stop painting and to make sculptures because they, they have a more physical, not symbolic uh, impression to, to the viewer. The moment I have quitted painting was the moment I realized that after a period of 10 years, doing all the investigations, the informal artists in the 50s, like Bury was, all these investigations they have done, I have done it again because I really wanted to make, as Bury apparently said, I wanted to make paintings that were not symbolical, that were blocks of material, really the material on itself that should express itself um, without any symbolical means whatsoever. And I decided that it's impossible in a painting because of the contextuality of a painting, because of the history of the painting, we always look at it in a symbolic way. There is no other way for us to look at a painting, Not, neither to a painting, neither to a, a, a drawing, neither to a, a, a photograph. We always look at it in a symbolic way. So this was a painful moment for me because painting was my very first love. This was, it's something I've been doing since I was five or six years. And you have to imagine as a 30 uh, year old uh, young artist that you have to decide, well, I cannot do what I want to do in this, in this way of expression in, by making paintings. Uh, sculpture has also the possibility to just uh, be material standing over there, material that you can look at it and you, you think about it, what it might be, you see some sort of gestalt in it, as you look to the clouds, we are animals that look for meaning all the time, so we, we look to the clouds, we, we think to see uh, a dragon or a lion or whatever, uh, so when you look at these blocks of material of mine, you also think to recognize something, you're searching to to, to give meaning to this, this object. But while walking around, you have to admit that every step you take, the, the image you think to recognize changes. And the dragon becomes uh, a lion, and the lion becomes a little child, and the little child becomes an airplane, and you know. And, and in the end, of, after 360 degrees walking around it, you have to say, well, none of all these things I've been thinking about are really valid. So, and then you have to accept the thing that is standing in front of you, the sculpture of mine, uh, you have to accept that this thing doesn't mean anything at all but itself. First uh, series I started with was uh, the series with the intestine pieces, later on I called them the Moon Van Two pieces. What was fascinating me was the part of 
uh, unpredictability in it. It's a bag with all kind of lobs on it and this is you cannot really manipulate in a way you really would like to. So it, the sculpture is made by the thing, by the, the stomach, for instance. I want to make sculptures that are as uh, complicated as this processes in reality is. I like to call my uh, sculptures as analog sculptures rather than abstract or symbolic sculptures. When I started making these sculptures with, uh, with intestines, I gradually find, found out, out what um, the importance of this material really was. And uh, one of the, the main things that uh, interested me was the, the abject capacity of this material. So with abject I mean the way Bataille really described it. So, uh, for Bataille, something that is redrawn from its original state and its original form uh, or its original context and because of this has lost its form and its, uh, its use and its uh, meaning uh, is something that is abject. For instance, the, the, the series The Blind Leading the Blind is, is more about um, how something starts and evolves and comes to a certain point and you hardly know how it started and I do really I start with a sculpture and then after two weeks two months two years of working on this sculptures on this sculpture I can impossibly uh, think of how it looked like at the very start and then there is this third title the Gorgo uh, pieces the blood pieces and I'm quite convinced that we as an artist, we, the only thing we can do is to soften down a bit the violence of reality that is coming to us all the time. Uh, and we're building houses to shut, to shut ourselves up and to save ourselves, but we have to fill the, the spit in the wall, and the gaps in the walls, with whatever material just to keep this dangerous uh, reality a little bit outside uh, on distance.